I'm going to show you how to repair a hose when you have a hole in the hose and you need to cut out a section. I'll show you what product I use to do it. I'm doing it um, because instead of buying a whole new hose, this is actually a piece, and I'm going to move the camera now so you can see. This is from a hose reel, and I don't want to buy a whole new hose reel. And this one, um, as you can see, it's attached this way. It, it doesn't screw on, so I couldn't even buy a short section of hose. Well, I could, but I don't know how to do. I don't know how to do that. So maybe I'll figure that out someday. But hopefully I'll save some money and I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm starting with this hose mender and this is the Gilmore Repair Hose Mender. It's made by Bosch and you can either use it with 3 quarter inch or 5 eighths inch. I got this at Ace Hardware. It cost me less than $4 USD. And this is the hose I'm going to repair. Um, it is on, um, it is connected to a hose reel, and that's why I want to repair it instead of buying a whole new hose reel. So there's a hole here. I'm going to cut out this section with scissors, and then I also needed a Phillips head screwdriver to use with this, and then it was recommended to me that I use some kind of lubricant like a Vaseline, so I have some of that handy. So I'm going to start by cutting the section of hose. So I'm going to use these scissors. You can also use a sharp knife. Let me get some water, of course. And I'm doing this in the garage. So we should have lots of background noise. All right, so I get rid of that. And now I'm ready to take this apart, but I won't make you watch me do that. So now I have the hose mender thingy <laughs> um, out of the packaging, and I'm ready to connect this black piece in between the two. Now this is the part that's going to be hard, and this is where it was suggested that I use some lubricant, like some Vaseline. So I'm going to try it. Make sure that I can do that. Oh, and a dog barking too. Got all kinds of stuff. Alright. So this is the part that should be interesting. So I'm going, maybe I don't have enough lubricant. <laughs> oh. And then I brought some paper towel with me too. So, cling with the hose. This is a hard part. Getting it in there. Maybe pressing down on it here. So remember, the reason I do these demos is to show that it is possible if you don't have a lot of strength to do these things. So I'm getting, of course, lubricant all over the place. Um, I'm pressing down on the cement garage floor to see if I can get it. I'm making sure that the video is picking up this. Oh, it is a I tried it before I turned the video on without the Vaseline and it was very difficult. So you want some Vaseline or some oil of some kind and then this is where some strength would help. So if you don't, if you have arthritis or something, this would be really hard. So this is where you'd want to get a someone else, even a teenager. So I'm, I'm grabbing this the paper towel here because my hand has some Vaseline on it. And I'm just pushing it together. That's pretty good. And now... The instructions on the little thing, the packaging, don't have any language, so they can sell this around the world. It's just pictures. So I'm going to put this first one on and put a screw in. This is all plastic, which is interesting. And when I was at the hardware store, there was a man looking for one of these also. 
and he had purchased another one that he pointed out to the salesperson and me that had metal flanges around it and it didn't work for him. And um, he said the flanges were as tight as they could be but it still leaked. So that's not what you want. I want a snug fit with this but as you saw I'm so glad he mentioned to me to lubricate it with the Vaseline because it would have been really hard to put that together. It was a snug fit. Okay, so I'm getting these screws. And if you want to <laughs> fast forward the video by dragging... Dragging the little scroll piece at the bottom of the video so you don't have to watch this whole thing. Okay, get the last screw. But I want you to have some real time to know how long this is going to take. And I will tell you, I've never done this before. This is my first time doing this. I didn't even practice before doing the video. screw. I'm going to tighten these a little bit more, but when I'm dealing with screws going into plastic, I'm always a little leery, even though they came out of this. They had this really tightly screwed in on the packaging, and I'm using a medium-sized Phillips head screwdriver on this. If you have one of those electric screwdrivers, that would be helpful, because those usually tighten really well. So I'm just going to make sure that these are all tight. And that is how you repair a hose. Of course, <laughs> the proof is in hooking it up and seeing if it still leaks, but if it doesn't leak, you've just saved yourself a lot of money. And again, that was about little less than four dollars in USD. The proof of whether this worked is by turning on the spigot, right? So I'm going to turn it on here and we're doing okay. Now the real trick is to get these screws tightened as tight as possible. So if you don't have a lot of strength, um, you don't want any line to show here, you need that as tight as possible. Get somebody to help you. Um, screw it on. So um, that's about all the tips I have for you. If this isn't tight, then the water will come through and it even might come apart. So get that as tight as possible and you have a repaired hose.